Hi guys, it's Sam and I am going to be doing a get ready with me video using lots of the products from my birthday haul and if the quality of the video looks a little bit different, I film on my phone. It's just a little bit easier that way and I feel like it's the best quality out of everything I own and usually I film uh, with the phone turned around so I could see myself on the screen and it's not for vanity's sake or anything so I could stare at myself. It's to make sure that I'm in the frame and now I'm filming it with the other way turned around and if you see me going like this or like this or I'm kind of this way or more that way it's because I can't see myself on film and we'll see how it goes. I'm sure it'll get easier the more that I do it and I'm also going to try not to edit out as much anymore. It's going to be trouble. I can tell you that right now. Uh, the first thing I want to share with you is a birthday gift for my sister. I forgot to show it in my birthday haul. It's not makeup, uh, but it's this Fox mug, and I absolutely love it. I love the ears. I love the tail. The tail actually is kind of 3D, uh, and I've been using it ever since. It's just adorable. It's my new favorite mug. Another thing I want to share with you is the Sonia Keshek Eye Makeup Remover. This is not anything new to my collection, and I this is my favorite water oil duo kind of eye makeup remover the one I'm using now is the Maybelline clean express looks like this and I do like this but I definitely like this one better if you're looking for you know an oil, this is about 10 bucks so not that expensive but if this is half the price of that and it works pretty good but this works better just saying okay and I I don't like that phrase just saying and I don't like it is what it is but I find myself saying it all the time and I think it's because of YouTube because I hear people say that all the time uh, <laughs> most overused phrases uh, this is so let's get started this is a Sephora favorites time to prime and I was really intrigued by this because there's a lot of things in here that I've been wanting to try especially the hourglass mineral veil primer and the smashbox 24 hour eye primer so I'm going to actually use those first on my face and the reason being I just found that letting your primer, whatever primer you're using, just let it settle on your face before you do anything. So um, normally I would prime my face like this and then I would use, oh this has a cute spatula in there and this is glass container so I thought that was really nice that they didn't skip on that even for a deluxe sample size. So I've been, you know, I usually prime my face then put my foundation then prime my eyes but I just want to give everything time to prime <laughs> okay uh, and then the Smashbox primer and this is a really big sample size I feel like for an eye primer okay and then the other thing I'm gonna use from here right now is the bite uh, liner and uh, I'm forgetting the name the line and define lip primer and this you would think it's easy to apply I love lip products that are in this form but this I think it's just it's kind of hard to use and I'm not loving the product to be honest with you yeah I don't know this is not my favorite and I went online to look at reviews for this and it was not very favorable favorable and the only thing I uh, the only thing I'm going to use from the, the only other thing I'm going to use from here is the Urban Decay Subversion Thicker, Stronger, Longer, Stronger Lash Primer. So I'll leave that out. And I won't really talk about that. There's two other things in there. The I'll talk about it real quickly. This is the Living Proof Prime Style Extender. And I've had this before in samples, but this again is a really nice size and I do like it. And I also am liking first impressions wise the X Formula Base the Formula X base coat. I think this is really nice as well. So a big hit with me. I think this is definitely worth 25 bucks and you get to try lots of high-end products. So for foundation, I am going to be using the new Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Foundation. This one is in warm nude. And I have used this maybe a handful of times since I've gotten it and I did not like it the first time but the more I use it the more I could see myself liking the finish and I am going to just pump a little bit out of my finger and then just dot it around I want to just just do half my face so you guys can see the coverage 
and I don't know if it's the primer that the the mineral veil primer that I'm using but I love the finish that this gives it's matte but it's not flat kind of like the NYX powder and it gives decent coverage not full I don't think this is full in my opinion oh but you could definitely build it up to medium full so this is the cover so you can still see a little bit of under eye and I think you could see kind of like the hyperpigmentation but pretty good and I really like the finish of this so I'm gonna do the rest and of the my brush face that I was I'll using to put on my foundation is the Real Techniques sculpting brush which is supposed to be for contouring and uh, it's too dense for that but I love it for it's perfect for foundation and uh, I also put some more of the foundation under my eye as concealer because I don't have a concealer, a new concealer to try out and show you guys. And the other thing I'm going to do right now is from a mini box, um, this is the Dino Platts Pearl Bay Inv Invasion Number 2 Baby Pink Clam. And I love the packaging, but when I opened this in front of you guys, I had no clue what it was. I kind of had a hint with the I kind of had a clue what it was when it said number two baby pink clam it's a it's an illuminator and I don't really like those I feel like it's an extra step and I really like more matte semi matte coverage and not really too highlighted although I've been trying to venture out into that uh, this is just the cutest packaging ever like I said um, I'm gonna put I used this the other day for the first time and I absolutely loved it this is an illuminator but it's something that is I feel like workable and subtle I just want to show you it's golden uh, but it's kind of like peachy it's not in your face or anything I just think it's really pretty and I like it so um, I want to put this on I was gonna mix it in with my foundation but I wanted you guys to see the foundation by itself but can you see like just that subtle glow I am gonna put some of that on my cheekbones and since it's a wet product I want to uh, put that on first before the face powder so it's very 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 subtle I have to get really close if um, I want to see it and I'm gonna just put a little bit more I really do like this and I'm surprised because I have several of these types of products and I know that I don't I don't seek out these products to get myself because I don't really use them but I think I might end up liking this one And now for powder, I don't have a powder either, so I'm I'm trying to use up. This is the Mac Mineralized Skin Finish. I don't know why I stopped using this. There was only this much left, so I am trying to finish and it up. And now for bronzer, another product that I'm trying to use up. This is the Cargo Blu-ray Blu bronzer, and I'm using the Elf blush brush. So the cap broke off of that. This is taking, I mean, it's major dent, but I feel like when you want to use up a product, it always takes a long time to finish. Although it's not as slow as, slow moving as a blush because you're using a lot more of the bronzer, but still taking forever. And I'm looking really orange. Ugh. It's okay. When it all comes together, it looks better. Just like, you know, when you just have foundation on, sometimes your face looks so flat, but then at the end, it all comes together. And I don't have a blush either, so you're seeing a lot of products that I need to. Oh, no, I do have a blush. I do. Okay. Uh, the blush that I'm going to use is the Maybelline master highlight blush and this one is in pink rose and this is really pretty but I think there's something in the like the highlighting things that is silver or maybe if even this shimmery color right there um, I I like this one I, I have the mauve one as well and that one is nice but sometimes I feel like it just makes my face dirty so let's just swirl everything in here Ooh, 
really highlighty. Whoa. And now for, I guess, my eyes. I'll do my eyes. Uh, this is the Estee Lauder uh, Deluxe Eyeshadow Palette. It's one of those collector, not collector's items, but limited edition that you get when you spend a certain amount of money. Estee Lauder gives you a bunch of free stuff. It was my mom's, my mom's, I don't know, <laughs> why did I just say that back to back? Uh, and she wasn't using it. It was brand new. It's kind of hard to open. Uh, it still had the packaging, and I have fallen in love with some of these colors here. Uh, so I am going to be using let me show you. Uh, this color first, then this color, and then this color on the, the lid. So let's go. So this is a matte brown that I'm putting on first, and this brush is from an eBay set that I got, and I absolutely, ooh, I say that a lot, absolutely love it. I really like this brush. It's great for so many things. But look at the, the pigmentation on this, and it's just a really great nude palette. Not that you need any more of the nude palettes, but it's this one is really nice. Go look in your mom's collection. Maybe you could find this because it's not sold anymore. Maybe she has it. Or maybe you have it. My mom was heavy into Estee Lauder and Clarence. I think I mentioned that before, but now she doesn't use it at all. It's because I think her friend got her into it. And you know, you go shopping with your friends and she's not into makeup or skincare at all. <laughs> And now I'm taking the shimmery brown. I wish I could tell you the names. I think it's chocolate and copper penny. I'm using copper penny now. And I'm just going over what I just put down. Oh, those cheeks are really shimmery. I don't know about that. I was really looking forward to trying those Master, Maybelline Master Highlights, but I don't know. They're not very pretty. Okay, and then, like I said, I'm using the same brush as well. I am going to go into that shiny yellow, and I got to guess to see what these are because they're... This is the back, I think, is... <laughs> A mistake. I don't know what that is. This isn't the right thing at all. The back is messed up. Alright, so I'm going to take that color anyway and just put that right here. And then go back into the, just the matte brown. And I'm just gonna blend them together. And then what I'm gonna do with the same brush again, just make sure you, that you wipe it off. And if you have something like this, this is amazing to clean your brush off of. It takes off the shadow and you can use the same brush, which I think is fantastic. And I'm gonna take just this pale pink color right here uh, but it works for putting on as a highlight if you just use a little bit. And normally I don't like a highlight, but to use up more products and just to, you know, play around with it, I have been using it. And then for something fun on the waterline, I am going to be using another Mimi Box product that I got. This is the My Ipkin or IPKN. I don't know, uh, gel stealer and we're all royal fair and I wasn't too impressed with the swatch but it does stay, if I put it, I'm not going to put it on the top lash line which I normally would but it does stay on there and I was really impressed with it. I am going to put it on the bottom and so I'm going to see if it stays on. And I thought this was just a fun way to put in a pop of color. I love blue with brown eyes, actually. I think it looks really pretty. Oh, you know what I'm going to do before I... Well, let me finish one eye. It's, this is supposed to be long-wearing... Um, does it say waterproof? 
let's see, a long wearing, wearing waterproof liner that glides on smoothly like a gel and smudge free, smudge free from dust to dawn. Okay, it doesn't glide on like a gel, but it is a really pretty color. There is some sparkle, but not too much. And I want to put the primer on, the Urban Decay primer. And it comes out white, which I, I like. So you could see that every coat, every lash is coated. I guess you could see it with the black too, but I don't know. I kind of like the white. Get a glimpse into the future. Okay, and then I am going to put the blue on the and I don't other know, eye. New contacts I've been wearing, but my eyes have been less sensitive, which I really like. And I think I'm going to highlight it. The contacts that I've been wearing in my, I don't know what video, but these are the Biofinity. I've always been an AccuV girl, um, but I wanted to get monthly contacts, and these were just a good price. These are the Biofinity Cooper Vision contact lenses. Okay, so I think the lash primer uh, is ready, and the, the mascara I'm going to be using is the Jordana Best Lash Extreme Value Magazine Mascara. And I'm even going to do the bottom. I feel like the whole look doesn't come together unless you do mascara sometimes. Okay, and actually, I'm going to do one more thing and you guys are going to think that I'm nuts. But I am going to try individual lashes. And I want to put like maybe two or three on each eye. I got these as well. This is the Ardell Lash Type for individual lashes. It's a clear adhesive. Oh, let me just put... Oh, I wanted to use this brush. I love this brush. I just washed it and it was drying. The Eco, Eco Tools brush, the stippling brush. This is amazing and I'm so glad that I got it. It's really, really good. So, let's see. You know what? I'm going to do this offline. I just dropped it. I'm going to do this offline. Um, I'm gonna do it off camera and I'll be back with the finished look okay so I'm back can you guys tell that I have the lashes on I do and where have individual lashes been all my life I don't know why it took me so long to try them because I absolutely love the subtle difference that it makes to my lashes and they were so easy to apply much easier than I thought it would be and I just want you guys to see I don't know I just love it and can you tell how the blue eyeliner it makes my eyes pop a little bit more my brown eyes I just really like it and I thought I would try two lipsticks for you the NARS one is the Rikujian uh, which a lot of people have gotten for their birthday or just on its own it is a really pretty color I want to put that on first And these are really nice. I like them. I'm glad that I got to try these out. I love the red color actually better than this one. The Cruella color. I think that one is amazing. But just love the color and the finish. I don't know if I would go out and get a full size. I like the Revlon lip butter. The Revlon bombs just as much. But this one is nice. And then I am going to take that off. And apply this is the lip color stick by Leo L. I think it's Leo Ellie. I don't, I pronounced it wrong, I think, before. This is a brighter color and it's really, really pretty, but it makes my lips appear really dry. Oh, and they're not. It brings out every line, but I do love the color. Maybe you'll be able to see it if I stop talking. Okay, so that... Make sure I don't have it on my teeth. So that is the look. I, I'm i loving the individual lashes, guys. You don't even feel it. I am so excited. So, you know what? The only... One part of the reason why I don't wear lashes is because of the hassle. But this is much easier than trying to put on... A full set and I'm really happy on how they turn out 